Veronica, the new engine, was enjoying her new life on the island of Sodor. She was saved from scrap by Thomas one night on his journey to the scrapyards. <laughs> She likes helping Thomas on his branch line, taking passengers about and seeing the beauty of the countryside. However, she didn't have that many friends. Later that day, she spoke to her driver. Excuse me, sir, but I don't have that many friends. Yes, I know, replied her driver. You've been acting a bit lonely lately. I would like to interact with other engines, she sighed. Just then, Thomas arrived. There are a few engines that can use help at the junction, he said. Oh, yes, smiled Veronica. I helped them right away. And she steamed away. <laughs> Meanwhile, Emily and Molly were boasting about in the yards. Dirty freight cars, they said. Will you ever learn your manners? No, it won't, no, it won't, no, it won't, 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 sang the freight cars. Then, Veronica arrived. Do you engine need any help? Oh, yes, indeed, said Emily. We have to deal with these freight cars. I'm Veronica, she said cheerfully. I'm Emily, and I'm Molly. Nice to meet you two. Now, let's get to work, she said. You have to be careful with freight cars, advised Molly. They can be silly, cheeky, and noisy. Thank you for the warning, smiled Veronica. <laughs> Veronica was very happy to be making new friends. Together, the three engines worked together shunting the freight cars into the side. Thanks for your help, said Emily. I hope we can work with you again, added Molly. Come along, Veronica, said her driver. You deserve a drink for your hard work. Goodbye, Veronica said to her new friends. Later that night at the sheds, the engines were boasting. Henry was supposed to pull the flying kipper, but Henry was ill. Sir Totten Hat quickly arrived to stop the commotion. We don't know what's wrong, sighed the workmen. Henry can't pull his train. Find another engine, said Sir Totten Hat. May I go, sir? asked Veronica. I suppose, replied Sir Tom Hat. Veronica felt excited. Before she left, Henry warned her. Be careful when you're puffing along the main line, he said. There's a bridge under repair. Whistle to the signal men to switch the points. I'll make sure to do it, she replied, and steamed off. At last, Veronica arrived. She coupled up to the cars, and the conductor waved his green flag. She was ready to go. My first ever goods train, she said happily. This is great. As she steamed out of the docks, the cars made a plan. A newbie, eh? Let's push her about. The cars giggled in delight. The signalman was asleep and didn't hear Veronica passing by. While she passed, she forgot to whistle to the signalman. By the time he woke up, she was already out of sight. Then, she was diverted onto the line that Henry warned her about. Now for a plan, called the cars. Go faster, go faster. Stop pushing me, she cried. Suddenly, thick fog covered the rails. I can't see, cried Veronica, nor could her crew. And when she could, it was too late. When the morning light shone, they lifted Veronica out of the sea. Sir Totten Hat was most upset. I am very disappointed in you, Veronica, he said. You were supposed to pull a flying kipper, not go swimming in the ocean. Henry informed you to whistle to the signalman. You will now shunt freight cars in the yards and learn how to handle them in the future. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir, 
she sighed. After Veronica had her wash down, she was back at Thomas's branch wine. She was very unhappy with her performance. Everyone makes mistakes on their first try, said Thomas. I remember the first time I interacted with freight cars. Did you do well? She asked. Not on my first try, chuckled Thomas. And then he started telling her the story about his first goods train.